Um, let's have a look to see what else we've got. So um, we're going to come back to the firewall stuff actually. So da -da 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 -da, web cache. Okay, let's set up web cache. So we're setting up a. Um, this is the web proxy setup, uh, and we want it to listen on address. This will be our LAN address. And um, that's pretty much it. And you can see there Squid is restarting. So let's test to see whether um, that's actually working. Let's go to Google and then type in BBC in there. Go to images. Let's do a couple of refreshes. Okay. Um, now if we do a run show web proxy and I think it's log okay let's jump down to the bottom and there you can go you can see TCP mem hits hit 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 uh, the cache hits is when it's retrieving it from this particular PC and uh, not from the internet so we know that's working that was very simple to do and uh, next bit is web filtering so before we do web filtering we need to do a run um, just in case you haven't seen my other videos, um, sometimes if you want to do, uh, it's, equi it's the equivalent of Cisco do, so if you exit out here you can do show configuration and it shows you, um, actually if I do show interfaces instead, you can see show interfaces and you can see the different interfaces and um, their IP and things. If you jump into um, configure and if you do show interfaces, you see it you see show interfaces from the configuration. If you want to see the previous version you have to prefix it with run and then you can see it. So anytime you see me doing a run you could also do it out of configuration mode without run. So see those two look the same but one of them was prefixed with run. Okay. As an aside what were we going to do? Uh, oh yeah run update uh, web proxy and I think it's blacklists, there we go. So what this is doing is it's going out into the interwebs and grabbing the uh, list for us and pulling it down. I'll let this go through because sometimes it actually doesn't take that long there we go all done so now it's got all, all of those I can now configure um, the categories within our web proxy so let's do that set service web proxy uh, we want URL filtering it's called squid guard let's tell it to automatic to update daily so it's going to go out and get that update you just saw it get every day okay I now want it to block categories. Now the categories that I'm blocking here are pretty much the ones you'd want to block in any environment. Um, okay, and what else am I missing? And to stop the clever people, let's block that. Okay, and let's commit that. And you're going to see Squid restarting again. Now the uh, blacklist contains whole loads, a whole load of URLs, um, domains, whatever, um, that um, in those different categories. Um, so when you're doing those block categories, you're in fact blocking a whole load of sites. Um, but in a second, when this finishes, um, and it's, it's actually important to do it in this order because uh, if you if you don't restart Squid after um, it doesn't recognize the local the local block which we're about to now okay so um, set services web proxy here are filtering and we want to do what's called a local block and we're gonna locally block Facebook and I want to show you what happens when we do that that's going to go ahead and reboot, sorry, and restart. 
and um, when that's done we're going to go over to the Windows XP machine and you'll see what happens when we try and visit a blocked website any time now come on you've only got a few more dots to go you've got three more dots and all done okay so jump over here onto the book of faces and you see it doesn't take you to Facebook anymore it takes you to Google and you can change that by um, someone here show service web proxy there's an option in here um, where you can set the default redirect to to somewhere else okay and we've committed that I think and then save it okay now what's next um, the next bit is um, ensuring that somebody out in the internet can get secure access to our web server but also to our remote administration stroke um, terminal services so let's log in here let me show you what I've got so far so uh, I enabled remote administration by sticking a tick in there uh, and IIS was installed you can do this in XP as well not a lot of people know this but Windows XP does have IIS and there's the uh, IIS okay uh, it's important to check it remote uh, check it uh, locally so can I actually get into that box and there's the IS under construction and with a bit of luck terminal services is going to work and because I can't type my password but other than that there we go okay so how are we going to go about doing this? Um, there are two components to setting this up. The first um, bit is the firewall and the second bit is the NAT and the two have to work together otherwise it's not going to work. Um, let's set up the firewall at the moment. If we have a look under here you'll see we've only got one firewall bit enabled at the moment. Um, so that just because you define it there doesn't actually apply it once you've defined it you then have to tell it where you want to do it uh, very much the same way with Cisco with access control lists you define the access control list and then you put it at the point where, where you want it to go um, and here is where you tell it where you want to go on the interface so you can see here I've got in and local in is traffic that just turns up at the interface and local is traffic that's destined for us for for the interface okay let's get on with defining this firewall then I'm going to call it WAN in uh, I'm going to set rule 10 to an action of accept I'm then going to set the destination to 192.168.10.10 so that is your internal IP address this is not your WAN and I'm missing the address bit out of there okay and the destination port this one's going to be for IS so it's going to be port 80 which is HTTP let's set up the protocol now which is TCP um, and because we're good admins let's set up a description so allow access to H TTP. Okay, uh, next one is going to be rule 20. Uh, and rule 20 again is action of accept. It's the same destination of 192.168.10.10 it's is it the same port or is it a different one well this is um, terminal services which is um, 3389 and um, we set the protocol I want to set one more other th one more thing um, 